How do we find it for cosine theta being negative one-half? Well, let's look at our unit circle. Here we have it right here. And I need to look and see where cosine is what? Negative one-half. Now remember, cosine is x. So where's the x values negative one-half as I'm going around? Oh, here's one at 120. Right, there we go. So we see it right there. Remember though, we can have two answers here. There's two times in the unit circle, it's going to be negative one-half. The other one occurs down here at 240 degrees. All right. So therefore, cosine of negative one-half is, it occurs at what, 120 or 240 degrees. Or if we made it into radians, it would be what, 2 pi or 4 pi over 3. Those are the two times that cosine is negative one-half.